Head trauma is a term to describe any injury or surgical procedure that occurs to the head, brain, or skull. It could be a closed head injury, which means that the patient received a hard blow to the head. Or it can be an open or penetrating head injury, which means that the skull was punctured or broken. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, it's important to know how to treat and care for these types of patients. This video was created to help make the learning process easier for you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is a traumatic brain injury? It's a general term that refers to an injury or trauma to the head that causes a disruption in normal brain function. Symptoms can be mild, moderate, or severe. For example, a concussion is usually considered to be a mild traumatic brain injury. The causes of a traumatic brain injury include motor vehicle accidents, falls, sports injuries, blunt force trauma, child abuse, blast injuries from explosions, and being hit by a bullet or shrapnel. Keep in mind that there are many other causes of a traumatic brain injury. These are just a few of the most common examples. The signs and symptoms of a traumatic brain injury include headache, lightheadedness or dizziness, blurred vision, ringing ears, increased confusion, restlessness or agitation, fatigue, loss of coordination, irregular breathing, irregular sleep patterns, lack of memory and concentration, vomiting or nausea, convulsions or seizures, difficulty waking up from sleep, slurred speech, abnormal pupillary response, and an altered level of consciousness. Again, a patient may experience other signs and symptoms with a traumatic brain injury. These are just a few of the most common examples that you may see. And the severity of each symptom may vary from patient to patient. It really just depends on the severity of the injury that occurred. Since this is a respiratory therapy channel, I want to talk about a few considerations that need to be made when it is expected that a patient has suffered a traumatic brain injury. As a respiratory therapist, it's important to monitor the patient's intracranial pressure levels. This is especially true if the patient is receiving support via mechanical ventilation. You may be required to use minimal levels of PEEP in order to avoid an increased intracranial pressure. Also, and this is another tip to remember, if head trauma has occurred, you may notice irregular breathing patterns. Particularly, the patient may show signs of Shane Stokes breathing, which is an abnormal breathing pattern with periods of progressively deeper breaths alternating with periods of shallow breathing and apnea. Again, this is just something to look out for. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.